on the timeline here, let's go take a look at one of our first kind of examples here. And what I have is just an image. This could be any kind of underlying content. Could be an image or a video clip or whatever. But upon this, I want to add me a little bit of a, a lower third. And I'm going to just let this run for a second. And you'll kind of see what that is if you're not familiar with such a thing. So basically, what I have here is a shape. Let's go to the shapes. I'll actually show you. So things that I might want to animate are certainly some of the callouts. So under shapes here, this particular one is this white rectangle. But uh, what you'll notice is that on the timeline here, uh, if I look at the properties, it is really just a rectangle shape, but the fill for that is set to zero. Okay, and that's the default of what this particular callout is. So in essence, I just have an outline. Now, one of the easiest animations we can do are transitions. So let's take a look at what I have on that shape. And in addition to the shape, then I just have a text box on top. So we'll see how to animate kind of both of these in just a second. But the shape here, I have a transition. And this one happens to be called the pixelate transition. If you go to your transitions tab over here, you'll see that Camtasia has a bunch of these transitions. And hopefully everyone's kind of played with these. Here's my basic take on transitions in Camtasia. They are kind of lame and cheesy, <laughs> not to put too fine a point on it. They are kind of dated looking, and I'll give you a little bit of an example of that. Things like the checkerboard transition. This is not something that I would normally use because, like I say, it's just, eh, it, it's kind of cheesy looking. Some of them are okay for transitions, but our purpose at hand is to make something animate. So on this shape object, what I've done is I put a, what is it? It's a pixelate transition, and you can find that over here, pixelate, which is actually one of the more interesting transitions around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just step through this. When you're working with animations, a lot of times if you hit the play button here, it's going to run. But when we start to dial in the timing of animations and stuff, it's very handy, very handy to be able to step individually through frames and see exactly what's happening at any given moment. So I'm actually going to even zoom in on the timeline a little bit more here. That gives me more detail along the timeline. Let's put the playhead right here. And then to step through things on the timeline, a lot of people don't know this because <laughs> it, it's actually changed in Camtasia 9. I'm going to use the period key and the comma key on my keyboard. And if you look down right now at your keyboard, you will notice that the shift characters for those two keys are the right bracket and the left bracket. So you don't hold shift, but you just, I'm just going to press the period key, which as you can see, the little arrow bracket on your keyboard points to the right. So I'm going to step, 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 and just kind of keep doing that. And actually, I'm going to kind of get off of that so it previews better. But kind of watch what happens here and watch what the effect is with the pixelate. See how it's kind of just glitching all over the place? And then as it gets closer to the end of this transition, glitch, 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 and then it all comes in. So the net effect of that is I get a really kind of interesting animation just by adding a transition. So I'll let that roll. Right? 
So that's uh, really one way that we can kind of do that. And then at the end here, I've applied, let's see, what is it? And to tell what transition you have, you just hover over it. This is a glow transition. And it's another one of the transitions that I kind of like to use for effects because if we step through it. Notice how it starts to get a little fuzzy there. And it's just going to glow out. Boom. No fuss, no muss, no screwing around with keyframes or even adding a behavior and setting a bunch of properties. So that's one way that you can do some pretty interesting animations. Now, I mentioned before that you can kind of play around with stuff. So when it comes to transitions, here's another thing not a lot of people know about. In deciding which one I might want to use for a particular asset or effect, I pick the pixelate one here, but if I want to kind of audition something else to see what it looks like, you don't have to click on it here and delete it. What you can do is you can just go to pick another transition and drop it down on top and it will replace the transition that you had before. So I have no idea what this is going to look like. Now well, let's just give it a quick spin. Okay, so depending upon the object that you have, the effect of a transition will look different. That's just kind of why you want to play around with different stuff. On an object like this, that is basically a line, you'll notice that the transitions affect it a lot differently than they would if you were transitioning between clips. So let's try like a barn door. See, it literally draws it out for me, and I'll step through this again because I know it's probably hard to see on the webinar. It's animating, right? And then it's going to finish up the box. Boom. Okay, so play around with stuff like that. One of the reasons I like using a transition, if I can, if it looks good, and sometimes it just they don't, just don't look good, but one of the reasons I like to use them when I can is because of this. Here's a lower third. I might want to adjust the amount of time that this stays on the screen. With using a transition, watch what happens when I extend this out to make it last longer. See that? The transition goes with it and stays right at the end. So we'll see later on with some of the custom animations and stuff, you know, where you have the keyframes and the little animation arrows, or adjusting the duration is no guarantee that your animation will stay where you want it, especially exit animations. So this arguably is a fairly cool effect right? And it was quick and easy to do.